number needed to treat and number needed to harm these are very high yield topic that will most likely show up on your step one exam and they will continue to show up also on step two and step three exam so it's very important for you to learn how to calculate these numbers and the nice thing about these um, two values is that once you've uh, obtained the final answer you can go back and double check to make sure you got the correct answer so that's why this is one of my most favorite exam questions it will very likely show up on your exam and and two, you can double check your answer and make sure you got the correct answer. Now, number needed to treat, what it means is that the number of patients that need to be treated with a favorable treatment, like for instance, aspirin, for one person to benefit. So for instance, how many people do you need to treat with aspirin for one less person to have heart attack? On the other hand, number needed to harm is the number of patients that need to be exposed to a risk factor, let's say for instance smoking, for one person to harm. So how many people need to smoke for one additional person to develop heart attack? And I will show you how to calculate these numbers. So for the number needed to treat, you will have to divide one by the attributable risk reduction. So what is the attributable risk reduction? It's the percentage reduction in the risk after the patient has been treated with a favorable agent, like whether it's aspirin, exercise, or any other risk reducing factor. So here I have provided you with an example that will make the understanding of this topic easier. So let's say that patients that have been treated with aspirin, two out of 20 develop heart attack. So the risk of heart attack in patients that are treated with aspirin is 10 percent versus patients that are not treated with aspirin the risk of heart attack is 8 by 40 which is 20 percent so now what is the attributable risk reduction with the aspirin and the answer is 10 percent so 20 percent minus 10 percent is equal 10 percent so there is a 10% reduction in the risk of heart attack in patients who are treated with the aspirin. And so here for the uh, absolute risk reduction, the value is 10%. So it's equal 1 divided by 10%, which is equal 100 divided by 10 equals 10. So the answer for this question is 10. You will need to treat 10 patients with aspirin in order for one less person to develop heart attack. Now I told you earlier that you can go back and confirm that you've got the correct answer. So let's do that together. So if you're treating 10 patients with aspirin, how many of them are going to develop heart attack? And the answer is one. And if you do not treat these patients with aspirin, how many of them are going to develop heart attack? 20% of 10 is equal to 2. So 2 minus 1 equal 1. So by treating 10 patients with aspirin, there is one less patient that will develop heart attack. Now, same concept applies for number needed to harm. What is the risk of heart attack in patients who are smokers? So 100 divided by 200 is 50%. So let's say for argument's sake, 50% of patients who are smokers will develop heart attack. Now, what is the risk of heart attack in non-smokers? Again, these are all arbitrary values, which are for argument's sake I have included here. So let's say 100 divided by 400 equals 25%. So what is the risk of heart attack that is attributed to smoking? So 50% in smokers minus 25% in non-smokers is equal 25%. So smoking increases the risk of heart attack by 25%. So the number needed is equal 1 divided by 25%, which is equal 100 divided by 25 equal 4. So if you treat, if uh, four patients start smoking, then there is one additional patient that will develop heart attack. Again, nice thing about these type of questions, you can go back and confirm you got the correct answer. So let's do that together. So if four patients smoke, how many of them are going to develop heart attack? 50% of four is equal to. And then if uh, they do not smoke, how many of them are going to develop heart attack? So 25% of 4 is equal 1. So 2 minus 1 is equal 1. So if 4 patients smoke, there is one additional patient that will develop heart attack. Same concept applied with the number needed to treat. If 10 patients were treated with aspirin, there was one less patient that has developed heart attack. And that concludes our discussion.